Orange is the New Black, Season 1, Episode 12, has something that's been a long time coming as Piper finally gets to actually talk to Alex after finding out she really was the one who named names. And it's um, handled pretty much exactly how it should be. Uh, like It's true to both their characters that even though they end up pretty much in the same place, they say everything they need to say and... We've also found out that uh, Piper herself was far from innocent in this whole thing, and so uh, it really is believable that they can both come to this new understanding that, uh, like, they're both kind of crappy people. And uh, so neither one should really uh, have any high ground to blame the other one for this. And um, so I really like that. It's something that really needed to happen this season, like the season finale at the very latest. Uh, like, uh, but the episode before, it's pretty good, too. Uh, it's kind of the wire structure. All the big stuff happens now, and uh, then uh, the season finale is more setting up for next season. But we'll see if that happens, uh, because the season finale is next. Also, we have um, Claudette um, um, attacking a guard who has um, like, uh, been encouraged to put her foot down more, and this gets her sent off to maximum security. And... Um, it seems uh, like that's going to be the end of her story because they make this big deal about how no one ever gets out of there. But um, I don't know if uh, like they had trouble with the actress and like her not being able to come back or whatever, but uh, if it uh, really is the end of her story, I hope it's not because uh, like it seems uh, like she deserves something better out of this. But... Uh, of course, this is a prison show, and one thing I've learned from Oz is that, that you have to occasionally send someone to a fate they don't deserve to make clear just how bad the place is and why it's a place to stay out of, even minimum security like we have here. And we also get uh, Pensatoki's backstory. It turns out she's a complete fraud. She's not uh, a real Christian, uh, like she's just... Uh, um, this uh, white trash meth head who uh, liked the attention after she uh, like shot an abortion doctor for completely personal reasons. But uh, like now the question is, um, is she really believing it after like pretending for so long? But uh, for now, I'm just happy that they're not going the route that um, once she, uh, like once um, she pays a little bit uh, with her stint in the psych ward, uh, we're supposed to like forgive her for everything and uh, want her to uh, like redeem herself because I don't and I don't. And uh, they're actually not going that route because uh, like when Piper turns it down, she goes right back to uh, like being this complete jerk and uh, even wants to kill her now. And so that's definitely going to come into play in the season finale somewhere. But um, there some really good developments here, um, and um, one thing uh, that does st stick out, though, is, like, again, uh, going through this whole thing where the show seems to be afraid to say the word bisexual, and that is, Larry goes on this whole rant about how, like, Piper needs to decide if she's straight or gay, and... Uh, it's very hard to tell if we're supposed to think he's a jerk for saying that uh, and, like, refusing to accept that bisexuals exist or if we're actually supposed to agree with him. And um, I'm really hoping it's the former because um, that is, like, a stigma that uh, bisexuals are still dealing with and they don't need this show's help in making them feel like they don't exist. So... Um, that's um, really all I have there and... Um, we have one episode left this season, and I'll just get to it uh, as quick as I can.